I think until some certainty uh, arrives around the direction of interest rates and how quickly interest rates may go up, we're likely to see a continuation of the discounts we're seeing in the secondary market, and that's going to that's going to put a hold on on a big development in the primary market in I would say the next six months or so. In terms of uh, current trends in the closed end fund market, um, and particularly in the primary market, things have been, I'd say, pretty quiet, certainly year to date. I believe there's been one offering, um, and certainly the, the latter part of 2014, there was very little in the way of new issuance. Uh, I think what we've begun to see is really two things. One, the secondary market is in a situation where there are fairly broad discounts on a lot of existing funds, which therefore makes it difficult to offer new funds. Um, and those funds that we have seen coming to market have been really, I'd say, in much more specialized areas, um, things like convertibles. Um, I think it was a healthcare fund last year, um, things of that nature. What investors should look for in terms of trends is uh, if they're attracted by a particular asset class, is there an existing fund available trading at a discount in the secondary market, uh, which would be a better fit for them than something being offered in the primary market. Uh, it's certainly something we always consider as a, as a fund sponsor. When we think about new offerings and whether we should be doing an, an IPO, I think the most important consideration is, is there a similar product already out there? Um, and if there is, where is that product trading? Because frankly, if it's already trading or products like it are already trading at a discount, it's highly unlikely that we would try to do a new primary offering. Uh, what can be frustrating is that uh, there may be a time where the underlying asset class uh, is trading at a value where it would be a great time to put a fund together, uh, but if at the same time the closed-end funds in that asset class are all at discounts, it would be very difficult to do a new offering. As far as new issuance uh, for the remainder of 2015 and beyond, uh, I think in, in our opinion it's likely to remain very much as it is today or as it has been for the last six months. We expect it to probably be somewhat light um, and where it's occurring to be happening in these more specialized areas that, that I'd mentioned before, or indeed in, in perhaps some new areas where there are yet uh, closed-end funds. For more information and data on closed-end funds, visit our sponsor, cefconnect.com, the authority on closed-end funds. This is Closed-End Fund News.